What's up guys, it's Veep Chief here and welcome back to another video on my channel. Today we have for you some more insane trading methods that are going to help you make a ton of coins on FIFA 21. So if you are enjoying the content, please jump over to the channel and hit that subscribe button. We've just hit 5,000 and we're going to try to hit 10k before the end of FIFA 21. And if you do enjoy live streams, please go check out the Twitch channel. We just hit 500 followers on Twitch. We go live with all sorts of trading tips, road to glory type things, gameplay, pack openings, all the good stuff that you want to see live over on Twitch. And lastly, make sure to check out in the description the Footmaster Discord if you're looking for more free trading tips. There's a lot of great people in there that are really good at trading. And with all that said, let's jump right into these trading methods right here. So we're going to start off in the Premier League. Our first one, we're going to be looking at Premier League Spurs. And we're going to be looking at central midfielders. Now in this filter, you've got Lo Celso, you've got Getson Fernandez, you have Ndombele, and you have Sissoko here. So if we go ahead and look at the price of these cards, let's take a look here. Now they have dropped a bit in price, but still going to be good ones to snipe going 1200 there so it looks like they're going to be selling for 1100 coins so basically we'll snipe it like i mean you could snipe at a thousand here and even after tax you'd be you can sell this for 1100 lose 55 on tax and basically you're still going to make 45 coins on this card so it's kind of like why not make the coins on that card so you can go ahead here and snipe at a thousand and these guys at a thousand coins are probably going to be really really easy to win on bid and just list up for 1100 which is where you can make a lot of coins just over and over picking these guys up i mean as you can see you could probably pick these guys up for seven eight hundred coins on bid and relist them for 1100 and just get quick flips like that and make some easy coins as you can see there now you're gonna have to stay on top of these bids because a lot of people are bidding on rare cards right now trying to pick them up to build those player picks but as you can see these guys do pop up pretty quickly for a thousand and again you might be thinking picking them up for a thousand it's not really worth it but i'm making 50 coins a card here after tax and just like that i've made 150 coins on those three cards we've picked up by basically doing nothing right there so i mean it's it's not a ton of coins right away, but over time you do make quite a bit. And especially with all the cards that you're going to be winning on bid, over time the coins are going to start to fill up a lot. Now, moving into our second method here, we're actually going to be sticking with Tottenham for the second method. And we're going to be looking at center backs. So if we take a look at this filter, we got quite a few cards. We're going to be looking at this Walcott guy, Alder Worrell, Sanchez. Um, there's some other like bronze slash silver cards in here as well. If we take a look, we've got Rodan, Tanganga. So if we go ahead and look at the price of all these cards, they're usually hanging out around like 2k, I believe, which is very, very nice. So yeah, the cheapest one, Tanganga, is going to be selling for 2,200 coins. So selling at 2,200, you'll lose 110 on tax. So you're going to snipe at like 2,000 coins here. Still going to make about 100 coins after tax, which is very nice. And again, bidding here, especially with Davinson Sanchez, is going to be really, really valuable because he's a card you're going to be able to win on bid a lot. People aren't going to really be paying attention to him. As you can see, these all have open bids here with under five minutes left and one of the big things is with these silver cards as well bidding on them is really good this Rodon is probably a guy we can get a solid deal on and try to get him for under 2,000 coins so we'll make sure to keep an eye on that but yeah we'll throw a bid down there and then you just move back over here and try to snipe some cards while you're waiting for those bids to expire now we do have one more filter after this but we're going to come back over here. We're going to see how we did on our bids. I didn't check them very consistently. So yeah, these all got bid up. But I mean, like that one went for 750. We could have picked all these up for a thousand. So yeah, there's coins to be made here, as you can see. And then this Rodon guy, as long as we get him for 2k or under is going to be good profit. So we'll keep an eye on that. He's got three minutes left on him. But we'll move into our last filter here. And those three cards we picked up already sold. Our last filter here, we are going to be looking at Leeds United strikers so in this filter we have Rodrigo we have Bamford who else are we looking at I know there's bronze cards in here as well I've packed them a few times we have Gelhart and we have Edmondson 
So looking at the price of these cards, let's take a look. I forget if they're a thousand or two thousand. So these bronze ones are going for two thousand here. Let's just check what all of them are going for. So they're all selling for two thousand right now. So tone selling for two thousand. You'll lose a hundred on tax. So you're gonna snipe for about eighteen hundred. So you're still making one hundred coins per card after tax, which is really good profit. And if we go ahead, we'll look at the bids here as well, because it's always a good way to make coins, especially with Rodrigo here. I feel like he's going to be a guy that we can win quite a few of on bid as a rare gold. And these silvers as well are probably going to be solid, even though there's not many of them on the market, silvers and bronzes, I should say. Not many of them there, especially since Bamford is in form this week. There's not a lot of him on the market. But yeah, some really, really good profit to be made in that that regard now wrote on here again a guy we're going to want to keep an eye on Davinson Sanchez we're getting outbid on all of him so he's going to be a guy we're probably going to avoid in the future here because there's just someone bidding on all of him but you're going to come back over Premier League lead strikers and we've thrown our bids down so we're just going to go ahead and snipe cards while we're waiting for our bids to expire just typically what we do it just makes things more efficient we pick up more cards over time because you can get them both from bidding and from sniping them. So that's kind of what we're looking to do. Be efficient with our time. Make sure we're doing everything we can to make the most coins here. Now we want to make sure we're getting that road on because he's a card that I think we could definitely win. Looks like someone here is trying to pick him up. Wow, Rodrigo here getting outbid as well. So market's kind of hot right now. A lot of people bidding. So making it a little more difficult. But again, on top of the bidding, you're going to be winning cards from sniping as well so you know a lot of different ways to make coins with this hopefully we can get this road on here as you may remember he sells for i believe two thousand all those uh all those spurs center backs for going for it might have been 2200 actually so we'll check his price it looks like we're going to be able to win him here for 1200 coins which is very very nice someone was bidding on him before this but it looks like they've just kind of given up on this card because they don't know his true value, I guess. Because, I mean, it's a free thousand coins profit here. We'll get seven, six, five. Yeah, we're going to pick up this card. And the silvers are just such good ways to make coins, trying to win all these silver cards on bid. Because a lot of times they just get looked over. People don't really see them much. They don't really know how much the silvers actually go for. So it's really, really easy to make coins bidding on these cards. So yeah, he's selling for about 2,000 right now, I believe, if we take a look here yeah there's one listed there for 2000 we'll list ours for 2000 take the 800 coins profit 700 after tax and it's just easy coins and just to show you the stuff that sold here all the low sells those already went so we could have listed them for lazy buyers for like 13 or 1400 and gotten some sales like that as well but guys that's gonna be it for this video if you did enjoy it make sure to like comment subscribe and i'll catch you in the next video